Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That piece of hair is really annoying. My glasses are annoying, I think they are. But I know I'm back here with no makeup on and la la la, but I mean at least my hair is done and kind of straight. So I look half decent, but yeah, that's another video. I just came here because, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like Discord wants to say something and I'm being hella stubborn, so I'm just gonna do what I normally do and just like let him speak and I'm just gonna take a step back so I woke up this morning or well, morning I guess and I was just kind of in a funk like not really doing much like watching Jane the Virgin back to back eating trash food and just doing like silly normal stuff that you do on a on a day that you just don't really have much to do thinking oh the weather's so nice you know I'd love to go out and everything but there's nothing really to do so let me just chill at home and this week is like my last official week of summer because I actually start like a 9 to 5 job next week so this is literally the end of my free time and then I don't know I, I just kept on hearing you know I just don't feel like it in terms of like me wanting to read the word I just I don't know I just didn't feel like it and I was like to God like I just don't feel like it and he was like you know just spend time with me and I was like I just don't feel like it and it's stupid to think that I would even say something like that because it's like who am I to even say that I just don't feel like doing the will of God even if it's just to spend time with him or just to do anything to evangelize someone to speak to a stranger on, on the street who am I to say I just don't feel like it I know we get in our emotions and our feelings and our thoughts and all that kind of rubbish but I feel like when you do that you kind of limit God in a sense where you're kind of saying you God are as much as I can do when in fact that's so incorrect. It's so so incorrect. How can you limit God to your own how much you can do? It, it's never about you, it's you as a vessel and I feel like in like in this day and age you know in terms of walking into your will, your purpose you need to get your eyes off of you and on to God in a way that doesn't put any limits on God but gives him all the power, all the control. You literally have to let go and let him take control. Even if you don't feel like it, even if you don't feel like you're good enough or you can do it, there's power in giving God all control. Because that's literally saying, Lord God, I'm not enough. I know I'm I'm not a Bible scholar and I don't read my Bible 12 times a day and pray every hour. But I'm so long as you're a willing vessel to be used, God will use you. And it's not about all those little nitty pitty religious antics, it's about your heart. So yeah, like God was just saying this to me, and I was just like, that's so true. Like I'm here sitting, oh, I don't feel like I'm good enough to sit here and be on camera and talk about Christ when it's like, it's not about me and what I can do, it's all about God. And the minute that I think that I am the one doing this, I've got it all wrong. So, I guess this is just another word of encouragement because to film this video, I was thinking, oh, I need to go and like, go and like pray or read or just like sit in his presence for an hour but God is like you don't even need that you just need to open your mouth or you need to turn on the camera first and open your mouth and I will speak through you but yeah this is just a little word of encouragement I do not want this video to be too long but it's just crazy because if every single person was obedient to God's word and his will Fam, do you know how many souls could be saved by you literally just accepting your purpose and actually doing it? Because be behind you doing what you do, whether that's just writing a blog or just, I don't know, just, just the little things, even writing a tweet like it's still evangelical, there's something and someone and a soul to be saved behind your obedience. Obedience, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have the perspective of that it's all about you. It should be, there's something behind this and God is asking me to do this, therefore I will. It shouldn't be a second guess like, oh my goodness. Say so like God tells you, go and speak to this girl on the street. You shouldn't be like, oh God, but I don't know her. Um, oh, I might look crazy or, oh, I don't know what to say. 
don't even let that happen. Like the video I made the other time, I literally was like, I was not ready to make that video, but again, it wasn't about me. It was about Christ and about the word that he was giving in to me to give to other people. So when you look at it from that perspective, it all changes. It's not about you. There are souls on the other side of your obedience and it doesn't matter how eloquently you speak or how great, how much great English you use. It's not about that. God will touch the hearts of man. All we have to do is be obedient and the Holy Spirit will water whatever seeds that he plants through us. So yeah, just even if you don't feel like doing it, just do it. Has there ever been a time where you've spent like God has been like, okay, spend some time with me and you've actually regretted it, honestly. That's ne that is, it's never happened and it never will because there's nothing but grace and mercy and love and wisdom and knowledge and understanding that can come from spending time with him. There's just, I don't know, like we make spending time with God this like big thing that is just so laborious and a chore and something that you can never really do or well, ultimately we can never really get enough of God let's just put that out there there's not going to be a day where it's like I've read every single book in the Bible I've prayed enough time today and it's enough we're never gonna be enough we're never gonna do enough but that's not what it is about <sighs> But the thing is, Christ is enough. And he knew we weren't enough, so he died in our place. Christ is enough for us. And he died for us. So it doesn't matter what we do, it will never be enough. And accepting that is fine. But it doesn't mean that you should be lazy and do, no and do nothing. But don't get into the whole, don't get boggled down with the mindset that you have to do X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z times a day in order to be sufficient to be used by God or in order to be sufficient to just be acceptable in his sight he loves you just the way you are of course there's things to work on but the fact that you're working on it is such a good thing so don't ever get discouraged into thinking that you're not good enough <laughs> just do it it's not about you it's about christ and i know there's a reason to all my ramblings so whether there's just one soul that listens to this and it's like you know what I'm just going to do what God is calling me to do. That's enough for me. It's not about the thousands. It's not about the millions. It's literally about the, the souls that God has assigned to my life. So I see it as like when you're obedient, you're not being obedient just for yourself. You know, in scripture, it talks about being a light. And a light isn't a light to just be consumed within itself. A light brings what light to other things. So it can be seen. So being a light in this world isn't just about you. It's about bringing light to the world so things can be seen for others not you christianity is not a selfish religion it's not it's about sharing because we were all to share and all to just be on that perfect path and be walking in the will of god in his kingdom which we all have a part to play then it would just be a lot easier because there's a lot of slack that needs to be picked up in terms of you know this walk of faith and if I was to do my part and you were to do my part there's just a balance there I'm not doing the most and you're not doing nothing at all it's like there's a balance if we both help each other out souls will be saved and that's the whole point of being a Christian or I hope that this was um what do you call it I know I always look crazy like I've just been looking crazy but look this is my hair after the 100, 100 layers of gel and i'm fine guys i managed to even straighten my hair so my hair is good but that's besides the point all i'm saying is even when you don't feel like do it doing it just do it forget your emotions because they will fade like the wind that they change all the time so don't rely on that rely on the word of god and that says those who f seek him will find him there's not going to be a time where you seek him and you don't just continue to seek and eventually you will get there and there is something on the other side of your obedience whether that's one soul saved or two don't get caught up in numbers and the amount of retweets you get the amount of views you get that's not what it's about god will meet you at that time when it's the right time for that but at the moment as long as you have a heart for christ and knowing that you, know, you want to share his word that is enough that's enough and every single thing happens for a reason you're here for a reason you're listening to my annoying voice for a reason you click this video for a reason 
don't let it pass you by but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one bye Mwah.